Well, hello friends. This morning we are starting off with some wonderful scrambled eggs and cheese, getting our day started right as we sit down to eat breakfast together. And then it is time to do the job of cleanup. As you can tell, I am in my pajamas still. Some days I still do stay in my pajamas through breakfast and get changed after. Other days I am dressed and ready with makeup and everything before. But some days, that's what it is. So after breakfast, I decided to get changed and do my hair and just get ready for the day by looking nice and just getting my homemaking outfit on. And then my um, time with my girls and little boy. He's actually laying on the floor by the tree. But I love reading to them every day. We try to get in about 30 minutes a day and my oldest daughter gets a magazine, a junior focus on the family magazine, and it had some really good stories in it for Christmas this time. And just, you know, mornings are sometimes packed with activities for the kids and their learning abilities and coloring and being creative. And other mornings are getting more tasks done like cleaning and cooking and all those things. But this morning, I like to um, just enjoy my time spending time with the kids, which includes a little bit of schooling, a little bit of coloring, and a little bit of reading. And then I get to go to my home my home work. <laughs> so I'm donning my beautiful gingerbread apron that a subscriber sent to me last year. My girls actually have some too. And I am making a couple different types of Christmas cookies. I freeze the balls, the cookie dough balls, and um, pull them out when I am ready to share them. This is a shortbread rosemary cookie. And it is so simple. I used some of my fresh rosemary from my plant I brought inside. And so it's got a beautiful, simple taste to it. I'll link the recipe in the description box for you. And then you have seen me make this one before. It's a ginger, chewy ginger molasses cookie. It is over on my blog as well. It's got the flavor and smells of just a wonderful ginger snap, but it's chewy and gooey and full of flavor. So after I made those up, it was beautiful outside. So we headed outside to string up a few more lights. I wanted a few little Christmas trees that I had that I didn't put up last year that I wanted to put up this year to enjoy. And then looking at my garden, it is time to trim back my climbing rose bush and my other rose bush that I have. So I read up on it and they recommended trimming it in the winter months, which I thought was different. Um, there were a few articles I read and that is what they suggested for climbing roses and it was beautiful if you watched my videos this summer the peachy colored roses on there they were just oh, so gorgeous so if you didn't see them go check out some of my summer videos of my garden because right now it's not much to look at <laughs> but it's a good day to trim that up and to get it ready for the next year, even though that is like seven months away before things start blooming and growing. And trimming back my rose bush as well. So I had baked my girls' pumpkins they painted for Halloween, and they are pie pumpkins anyways. So I thought, all right, this would be a good day to bake those since I have the oven on and be using that in a latte I make later. And then um, actually today when I'm voice doing voiceover, I made some pumpkin bread that actually I'll be seeing a video on next and so I just took care of that and then it was nap time so time for me to edit my videos finish my morning coffee because that takes me a while to drink and then off to do some cleaning so my bedrooms needed a good cleaning um, with wiping the blinds down wiping the floors dusting spot cleaning my rocking chair where I nurse Elias because there were some milk spills on there and just some things that needed to get done and I needed to take care of this room. So we did a bedroom makeover 
before the little guy was born. And I just love how inviting and cozy it is for being shared with our little guy. And so I needed to um, just take care of it a little bit today. <laughs> If you don't know or if you're a little bit newer to my channel, I do sections of my home for cleaning each day. One particular day is my living area, one particular day is my kitchen, one day is the bedrooms, and it can vary on what day. I usually do have it written down on a particular day, um, but this day was actually not even my bedroom day. But it just Sometimes that's okay with being a homemaker. You can be flexible. You don't have to follow a rigid schedule. You can make what you need to work for that day. And if you have extra time and you want to, you can conquer two areas of your home if that is what you deem necessary. Because sometimes I know I do that. I might clean my bathroom and my bedroom in one day just because we might have company coming or it was just needing done. So just do what works for you, but definitely a cleaning schedule for me is what keeps me on task, keeps me going with a good routine, and it just helps me remember what day I have for each task. And again, be flexible though, but I do again recommend schedules and routines for yourself as a homemaker. <laughs> It is time for my pumpkin maple latte. So the pumpkin probably should have been pureed. It was a little stringy, so definitely puree it before you put it in your latte if you're going to drink it. It was delicious though. Even though it's winter and well, it's fall, but December, we love to get out and go for walks and strolls. And this cute little shop had their window boxes all decked out for Christmas. Just fun to notice and see all the beauty in each season and what people put out. And it was just such a joy. And we even were able to head to the park. We have not had much for snow on the ground. So it feels more like October than December right now. All right, time to get supper prepped. It is our Wednesday night that I am filming this, and so that means breakfast for supper. I am doing a pumpkin pancake, and so using pumpkin sourdough pancake, that's what I'm doing, and I do have to say it didn't taste real pumpkin-y. I did follow a recipe, so maybe it needed a little more than what the recipe called for, not sure, but sometimes I like to add a few extra spices as well. It was good and I just enjoyed making my meal by candlelight for a while and then just just being in the kitchen brings me so much joy. Of the highest. Mary said, how can this be since I am not yet married? With God, nothing is impossible, we told her. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. That time, everyone in the Holy Land was to be counted and put on the list. Mary was going to marry Joseph, whose family came from Bethlehem. So they were tending their flock. The angel appeared to them and praying. Yea, Christ the Lord was born. So the angel came and told all these shepherds. Christ was born. And then the day of the day came out. I took the time to roll out my chewy molasses cookies in the sugar and put them in the freezer to flash freeze and then I can put them in a bag. And then I like to set the table the night before so it's one less thing to do in the morning. And then you know what? The beautiful Christmas lights that I worked on outside earlier in the day, I got to enjoy peeking through my sliding glass window that you'll see here while I enjoy my tea and then it's just time to relax. So I hope you enjoyed coming along 
with me on this day of homemaking, cleaning, baking, cooking, and doing some garden work. Bye.